Hello, welcome to Animes, another weekly roundup of anime anime figure releases. This will be Nendroids, um, opposable figures and non-scales basically in this uh, lineup that we'll be looking at today. And this will be from the 11th of March to the 16th of March. Uh, we'll get straight on into it, there's not a lot this week for these, uh, thankfully. Um, touch wood, <laughs> we've got Woody, version 2.0 uh, from Revoltech Toy Story, set by Kay Kyoto, 7,910 yen. Uh, I suppose it's pretty not bad looking figure. It's got his um, down to a T basically from uh, from the movies. So yeah, looking good. Uh, and you get quite a few accessories with this actually. So probably is worth the price. And I think Revoltech is quite a good lineup for posable figures at least. Having um, obviously with it not being an anime figure, but I think uh, the this you know Toy Story um, makes sense to do um, for Revoltech to d dip into for the IP. Uh, Mega Me device, Bullet Knight, Lancer, Hellblaze, plastic model, plastic model by Koda Pakia for 6,500 yen. A mate of mine likes these um, Mega Me devices. Uh, he's got quite a few of these. Um, so I can I can understand why, you know, having these um, girls, posable girls, uh, girls in, uh, you know, uh, metal framed armors, uh, all sci fi up and stuff, so, uh, been being posable and getting lots of. You know, just looking really good overall. I can definitely see why the, he likes these. Definitely, yeah, it looks really good overall, I think. And for the price, it's, you know, actually a very good price for what you're getting uh, June 2024. And you get quite a few accessories, it looks like, with this. Um, although I think you, some of the options, it looks like you put the the shield attack, uh, bolted onto the side of the weapon uh, in some of the poses. Uh, no. Nope, so the shield's there, it's fine. Yes, yeah, so yeah, here we go, the shield's on the bottom. The weapon then, she's riding it like a, um, as a vehicle. So that makes sense. Uh, no, yeah, it looks good. Uh, Fantasy Star Online, uh, ES uh, Online 2, ES Gen, uh, Stella Innocent, uh, by Cody here, 5,500 yen. So this seems to be using the same as the Mega Me devices, but it's based on obviously uh, the Fantasy Star Online game and anime. Uh, looks good overall i do like this quite good and then i really should play fantasy star online if you think i should um play it and uh do a review of it then let me know and i'll put some time into it and make a video on it uh definitely good and the fantasy star online figures that i've seen uh being released they actually look really good so i uh, really do want does seem to want me to play the game uh, overall uh, and this is a good price um, then we've got Frame Arms, which is sort of the competitor, or was a different version lineup from Kotobukiya of uh, the Mega Me devices. Um, so Frame Arms Girl um, uh, Magatsuki plastic model, 5,980 yen. A bit more matte on the colours on this one. Um, this one seems to be a bit more concentrated on the actual uh, gear and the outfit rather than hat, but she's still very posable. Um, with the sword as well, looks like you can actually mount the swords into the actual vests. So that's really they're pretty interesting that they've uh, how they can do that. Um, it'd be I wonder if it'd be magnetic or something like that probably. But yeah, looking really good overall, very flexible, and I do like this. And it's a good price. Uh, Nendroid card Captor Sakura clear card UE uh, by Good Smile for six thousand eight hundred yen. Um, it. Looks pretty good. The wings are not too bad as well on this one. It's an android, so it's going to be just good overall. Uh, not watch Katakart, Captain Sakura. Um, but yeah, so three face plates. And what else do you get? Uh, three face interchangeable lower body parts and other optional parts for different poses. So yeah, you get standard lineup really with them. And there's a bit on the more on the pricey side with this android. Uh, an Android calf, uh, by Good Smile for five thousand two hundred fifty yen. Um, looks adorable again. Uh, the molding looks a bit weaker on this one. But, uh, but I guess it's the way her design is, so that's fine, I suppose. Looks not too bad. Pretty good. I do like it overall. Um, looks like you get three face plates with yeah three face plates so you get a straight forward looking eye positions over to the side and open mouth um uh, final fantasy 7 remake adorable arts erith uh gainsborough by square enix 6700 yen so these are posable figures um or i think yeah they are semi-posable i guess you could say uh or with some headpieces and arm swap outs and that looks like about it. So actually not really that posable. 
um, pretty expensive as well, I think, for what you're getting. But it's Final Fantasy and it's Square Enix. They always charge more because of, with it being Final Fantasy, a lot of people will just buy it because it's Final Fantasy. Um, and then we've also got um, Cloud Strife as well. 6,700 yen. I can understand why he... Oh, no, they're both exactly the same price. Uh, so it looks like you get uh, standard and then two other arm options and a different faceplate for this one. So these are kind of like mix between Nendroid and Scales, I guess you could say. So you, at least you can have them in two, I guess, two display options that they deem uh, worthy. This is the problem with Square Enix, unfortunately. It's, it's down to what they see fit with their IPs. Uh, Nendroid Rebuild of Evangelion, Kaoru Nagisa, uh, 4,980 yen. Um, I like the Evangelion ones because they include the um, uh, was it the jet bike but, uh, that they ride on. Uh, so like the other, th the, all three girls were released: uh, Ray, Asuka, and um, I can't remember what the third one is. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I think I covered. So you get the um, unique bike, which obviously re and which refers to the um, the Evangelion that they ride as well. Uh, so that's good. Uh, 4,009 yen, again, good price. So definitely if you want to get these, then um, definitely. And then you've got uh, Shinji as well. Um, and here's one. I think it looks like the bike should be different on this one. Uh, no, still 13. So I guess the bike's the same on all of them, which I guess makes it easier manufacturing costs. But yeah, and then you got him with a couple of different pieces. So definitely worth getting a hold of if you're big into your Evangelion and you like Nendroids. Uh, then we've got Nendroid Her Live Productions. Uh, Gaur Gura 5,330 yen I thought they've already released her this might be a re-release um, or it might be a different version of it but yeah it looks very cute overall I'm surprised it's taken this long to get around to doing Gura if this is the first time uh, they've done her uh, August 2024 and then we've got an Android Jaws uh, Shark Bait uh, <laughs> kind of <laughs> sorry about that um, so I think we covered the, this before uh, last week, I think, where it's this uh, Jaws coming out of the bottom, um, but then they've actually now included a couple of different options. Uh, oh, so the, his face comes off and then you put him on a round base. So you can display him like this with this uh, backdrop uh, acrylic card, or you can have him actually, you know, with a shark body, it looks like, with this one. Um uh, for 4,700 yen. So if you're big into Jaws, which is a classic movie, which I think people, most people should watch Jaws. It's very, um, a very nostalgic uh, horror movie to watch. Um, and then we've got another Magami device, uh, Arsa Ninja, one to one scale, by Kudubikia for 5,790 yen. Um, looks actually good. I quite like this one. Color works. Uh, color ring looks really well done and looks like the... Um, prints that they put on there the decals sorry the decals have uh done really well as well so uh definitely good looking figure and very poseable um looks like they're putting a lot of trust in that joint um yeah no, that's good uh definitely worth getting i think uh nendroid homey uh kyoko hori 6700 yen uh, coming out in july uh, Surprised they've taken this long to do a um horror as well. The anime is really well done, definitely worth watching the anime. Um, I've really enjoyed the first season, second season, I haven't got around to watching yet. Uh, but yeah, definitely worth watching this. Uh, very good looking anime, uh, Nandroid, sorry. Uh, very cute. I do, do like the character, three face plates with this one. Um, in a bit again, on the bit more on the pricier side, but I think. Um, they'll be it looks like good smile. They're settling them in between the six to seven thousand yen mark now. Um, uh, Shy Lily as well, Nendroid, six thousand four hundred fifty yen. Uh, very funny uh, VTuber, one that I do actually occasionally watch. Um, is Shy Lily? I probably should go back and watch her. Um, yeah, very cute. See, and because she does change her avatar uh, quite a bit, uh, like her then. Yeah, because they change her, she changes her avatar. They can do some uh, alternate versions of her um, in the future as well. So potentially, if you like Shy Lily, then you, there'll be further releases of Nendroids in the future. Um, definitely worth getting. I'm very tempted to get this one as well, uh, since Shy Lily is basically the only VTuber that I really watch Iron Mouse occasionally as well. Um, and we got Yuru Camp uh, Chikua Soft Final Style, four thousand seventy yen. Um, it's a very cute little uh, doggo with a rabbit ears 
I think it's the doggo fox. Sorry, fox. I've not watched your camp, so I don't know the reference in this. Um, don't flame me in the comments. I'm afraid. Sorry. I really should watch your camp. I know a lot of people saying it's a really good anime. Um, or a lot of people would probably say read the manga because they probably that's probably what most people should do. Uh, but yeah, it's very uh cute. Um, big if you're big into your camp. And you've got a little bit of extra money to spend. You can get um this uh Chikawa Chikuwara Chik oh sorry, um that's it at least for this uh, video of uh, at least you know non scale uh, nendroids and uh, posable figures. Um that's it for this week. Um please comment, like, subscribe. Um the links for these will be in the description down below. Uh, makes it easier for you to at least find them and then uh, you know buy purchase them uh, in the future. Um. But thank you very much, and I shall catch you in next week's video. Thanks. Bye.